What's up, space fans? Sun's coming up. It's early morning out here on the bayou. I was sitting out here thinking about the strangest thing that I've ever seen in nature. I've seen a couple things. One of them happened right there. Right there in the bayou. I must have been about nine or ten years old. And at the time, we only owned this land that I'm sitting on here. And there was a fence ran right along that way. And there were some people that inhabited that area over there. They, they were bad people. But I guess they weren't home that day. We were all out here. My family and some of my dad's family. And um, I don't know, eating watermelon or, or something. Having a good time. And somebody looked up and right over there, big old swamp rabbit had jumped in the bayou and was swimming across the bayou, coming from that side over to this side. Big old brown swamp rabbit. Strangest thing ever seen. Middle of the day. So I jumped the fence and I ran over there. I was gonna be there when he when he got to me. And then while he was still swimming, right behind him come a big old rattlesnake. Plunked right in the water and started swimming after him. On the same line, came right in the same place. So my daddy saw that and he came over. And so we're watching this. And there's more than, than, than just me. It's, it's my daddy and, and several other people. And this brown swamp rabbit and this rattlesnake are swimming in line. And, and the impression you got was that he was chasing the, the rabbit. Looking back, I'm not sure that's true. They may have been both running from the same thing. And if you've ever seen a, a rattlesnake swim, they swim very peculiar. They keep their head up. They don't swim like a, like a sea snake. Or a water snake. Anyway, there was a boat laying against that old pine tree at the time. And that was actually a boat ramp over there. Anyway, my dad's waiting for the thing with a hoe in his hand or a, or a shovel or something. And the rabbit comes up and runs away. But the snake comes up and he barely he barely touches, touches dry land and daddy kills him. Big snake, not the biggest, but big. And my daddy, who grew up in the swamps, could not explain it. I think my aunt, Mary Emma over here, could not explain it. I certainly couldn't explain it. Never seen anything like it. That was a pretty strange thing to see. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen happened on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. I was going through a school, one of those really wonderful, really hard schools. It was called the Small Unit Leaders Course, an infantry school for corporals and sergeants. And we were doing a forced march with full gear, machine guns, packs, ammo, everything across the top of the Pali Mountains, which if you know anything about Oahu, Oahu is split in two by the Pali's. I think they have a longer name, but we call them the Pali's. And there's places where this trail is literally, what, two feet wide, and it breaks off going down on either side, and you're looking out over the entire island. It is majestic, it is incredible, it's beautiful, this kind of picture that you see in National Geographic. And I'm dead tired, I'm just so wore out. And I've got an M60 machine gun and a full Alice pack and, and ammo, and it was just crazy. And I'm stumbling along this trail at the top of the world with other Marines 
and it's just it's just bright blue not a cloud and then this storm system starts to come in and we can just see it coming in and we're above it and we see this storm system just roll in it wasn't anything bad it was it was rain I mean, it wasn't like a hurricane or anything like that and it just rolls in and we're there to witness it and 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 not and please I don't I don't mean to be sacrilegious but it was like having God's seat and to be able to see things as he does and it was just incredible to see this thing roll in and then hit the mountains and this cloud system which seemed just overpowering hit the mountains and just start to break into turmoil and to see it rolling in the valleys and to stand and watch all this to have a ringside seat to watch all this it was just incredible and it took me from just being so tired and feeling every bone in my body and every muscle drenched in sweat just wore out and all and all that pain just went away as I watched God's creation and just it was just magnificent it was it was incredible Well, those are the strangest and probably the most beautiful things that I have ever seen in nature. Thanks for listening. Take care. Stay safe. Stay strange. <laughs>